Hello, I'm Uma Arora from JustTutors.com and in today's video we are going to learn about why do we fall ill. The main subtopics which we are going to cover in this video are health and its failure, personal and community issues, distinction between healthy and disease free, disease and its cause and then acute and chronic disease. Let's move forward towards the next slide and let's give a try to the pre-assessment questions. So you can try the given questions by pausing the video and once you are done with all the questions you can resume the video to check your answers. Pat your back if all of your answers are correct and now let's move forward and let's have a quick discussion about health and its failure. So we can say that health is a state of being well enough to properly function physically, mentally and socially. In other words we can say that health is a state of physical, mental and social well-being. Health is often affected by diseases. So diseases is the unhealthy condition caused by microorganisms. A person who is affected by the diseases will have improper functioning of the organ systems. Let's move forward and let's talk about personal and community issues. Well, both personal and community issues affects a person's health. Now let's discuss the first one which is personal issues so it deals with all the issues that we can do as an individual it starts from good hygiene clean toilets washing hands regularly following a balance or nutritious diet now let's talk about community issues well community issues is basically maintaining and protecting the health of all the members of the community it basically focuses on public cleanliness because it is very important for our health if someone is living in a filthy neighborhood he or she will have a greater risk of being affected by some or other epidemic so we need to take care of public cleanliness let's move forward towards the next subtopic which is healthy and disease free so now we are aware of the fact that healthy means a state of well-being to function well. So what do you think? If a person is disease free, can we say that he is healthy as well? Well the answer is no because it is possible to be in poor health without actually suffering from a particular disease. If a person is disease free, it doesn't mean that he or she is healthy. So there is a difference between these two terms. Let's move forward and let's talk about disease and its cause. Well, disease is a condition in which the affected person is unable to carry out normal activities and this condition can depend upon certain factors like personal age, gender, the place where they are living. For example, if an old woman is just able to walk comfortably in the market or in the garden, she can be termed as a healthy person. Now let's talk about symptoms. So symptoms are the signs which gives us a clue about an underlying disease. For example, headache, fever, cramps, etc. They all are, uh, they all are symptoms but they don't indicate the name of the disease. Let's move forward towards the next slide and let's talk about cause of a disease. Well, cause of a disease can be internal as well as in external. So internal cause includes all the internal factors like lack of exercise, obesity, failure of some organs and if we talk about external cause that includes all the external factors like bacteria, microorganisms present outside our body and different viruses. Let's move forward and we classify the diseases according on the time as well. So one is acute and the next one is chronic. So a disease which appears for a short duration is called acute disease for example cough, cold, fever etc. and a disease which lasts for many years is called chronic disease. Some of the chronic disease may last for the entire life for example diabetes, tuberculosis, hypertension etc. Let's move forward and here are a few questions for you to practice. You can have a quick look over all these questions. And thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justutors.com.